This looks really good. Ooh, it's not that bad, but it's a little cold. <laughs> I put on sunscreen, clearly not enough. We got some goodies. Woo! Hello you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I'm starting a vlog at night, which feels <laughs> very strange, but it is 8.15 at night. <laughs> and yeah, I've actually had a cold the last couple days, just like a runny nose. At first I thought it was allergies, but it's worse than allergies. <laughs> so it's just like a very small cold, it's not like you know what. <laughs> but we just had dinner, Yard just went up to shower, and I am gonna make myself a little sweet treat that I saw on TikTok. So I wanted to make it with you guys and see if it's any good. I mean, it seems like it's gonna be really good. So like, how could it be bad? <laughs> okay, so you can use chocolate or caramel rice cakes. And then um, she used, I wish I knew who it was. I didn't save the TikTok. So if you know the creator, please put them in the comments. I'm just not sure um, who, who it was, but I saw this briefly on my timeline. Um, <laughs> Is that like really old school? Same timeline. It's on my For You page. Um, milk chocolate and peanut butter chips. And then some mini marshmallows. And then she melted them in the oven. Like on top of the rice cake. And it sounds amazing. So we're going to make one. Because your girl has a sweet tooth. So let me turn the oven on. And we're going to take this massive tray. <laughs> I haven't had a chocolate rice cake in so long. I feel like rice cakes get a bad rap because they're like a diet food but i i personally really enjoy me a rice cake okay got our rice cake here i didn't know they sold a mix of peanut butter and chocolate chips together oh i'm only seeing peanut butter <laughs> okay spread those around bring it around and then like some mini marshmallows. This is gonna be so freaking good. I feel so out of sorts when I'm not vlogging you guys. Because <laughs> the last couple days I've just like kind of forced myself to rest and I've just felt like very out of it. So it feels good to be picking up the camera. So here's what our little buddy looks like here. I'm gonna pop it in the oven. I'm just gonna kind of eye it because I don't really know how long to do it. I feel like a broil could work. It's just trying to like melt everything. So I'll let you guys know when it comes out and what I did. Side note, while that's in the oven, you guys told me to try these calcium chews. So this is the brand that I've been buying um, and it's the Bariatric Fusion Calcium Soft Chews. People told me to try the, the caramel or the chocolate because it's like dessert vibes because I've been buying the Fruit Punch and I really like the Fruit Punch one. So um, I actually... I'm about to try this for you guys too and do a little taste test because I just ran out of my other ones. It's giving calcium meets a Werther's. The first few chews, I was like, oh, it's caramely. Not bad. I think I prefer um, the fruit punch. Like I'll definitely finish the bag like I don't hate it but I think I prefer the fruit punch but it's not bad I'm not usually a big sweet tooth person quite frankly like I'm more of a salty gal or a fruity gal than like a really sweet caramely vibe but right, I'm paranoid about I'm gonna burn this oh my god how cute is this I broiled it on high probably for like 45 seconds to a minute like very short time. Ooh, okay, nice and melty. Let's try it. Okay. Mmm, this looks really good. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's giving s'mores. Yeah. This is really good. <laughs> How could it be bad, right? I'm gonna get a plate and I'm gonna go watch uh the 90 Day Fiance, because there's a new season. I said the 90 Day Fiance. There's a new season. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day, and it's bright and early because we're going to actually drop my car off to get detailed today. I usually have it detailed every spring, and I just, oh, it helps to refresh. I try to keep my car pretty clean throughout the year, but 
you know, naturally it gets a little, a little nasty. So we're going to go drop my car off to get detailed and I'll show you how squeaky clean it is later. But, um, I've been home just kind of like resting the last couple days and I'm like, <laughs> I'm a little bored. Why am I like using my hands so much? So my mom and I were thinking of taking a road trip to go to one of our favorite like seafood spots. I don't know. It's going to be like a beautiful day today. It's going to be like 70 and we were like, maybe we could take a little walk on the beach. It just sounded really nice since I've been cooped up and it's going to be really good. Like it's going to be, I think 72 today, but in the sun, in the sun, it's going to be like 80. <laughs> So we're gonna take advantage. So I'll take you guys along. I'm so excited. Um, oh, your girl needs to get out the house. The only thing that sucks about getting your car detailed is you have to take out absolutely everything. And I'm just putting it all in a trash bag. <laughs> and I'll go through it later. Oh my God, I forgot I have, I have scratch tickets <laughs> from Christmas that I won. Okay, we're gonna have to go redeem those. I don't even. Oh my gosh, this is why you should clean out your car. Pillow plump from uh, Soap and Glory. Oh my god, I have hair clips in here. Oh my god. Got a lot of salt packets. That's my mother for you. My mom loves salt. Every time we go anywhere, salt. <laughs> and a lot of bougie places now they actually don't have salt on the table not even bougie places just like a lot of restaurants actually it's probably from covid now that i think of that um but it just made me think because she always asks always asking for salt oh my god this is disgusting this little ugh this change is gross oh no good luck to them in this little section here. Ugh. How does this get so gross? Like, you know, how does the little change hole get so nasty? Like, I can't even get this freaking penny off the bottom. It's like engulfed. I don't feel like I eat in here that often either, which is also very confusing. Oh my god, okay. I got it off with the power of my dip manicure. <laughs> the strength of the dip powder. This is so gross. I have to wash my hands. I need to get a manicure at some point too. I think I'm gonna go get a manicure tomorrow, um, which I'll sh take you guys along for. I really, oh, sorry, this is so like not entertaining, is it? Um, I really want to do like a really cute, like springy design. Like I've been seeing a lot of people do like those cute little flower designs, and that's what I'm feeling. Come on, last penny. You know, I say every time, every time I get my car done, I'm like, I'm going to keep it clean. It's going to stay so clean. Girl. Okay. Got my charger. And if you guys missed it way back, I think during Vlogmas, I made a little car kit. And it's very much come in handy. Like, very, I use it all the time. And it's really kept my middle console clean. Otherwise, I just have gum in there. So, all right. Thankfully, it wasn't that bad, but we're ready. Okay, here is the before. Crusty, busty, dusty. All right, we're gonna go, and Yara's gonna be there too, to drive me home after. And we're gonna leave it there all day. All right, y'all, just brought up my beach chair from the basement. Um, I love this beach chair. I'm going to link it. It is plus size friendly. It's honestly just the best, the best. And I love the neon green. So this goes up to a weight limit of 325 um, because I know a lot of beach chairs have kind of a low weight limit. So this goes up to 325. Um, it has straps on the back so you can carry it like a backpack when you're walking to the beach. It's got a headrest, but also if you wanna lay it flat, you can put your head through here to lay on your stomach, amazing. And it has a really nice width as well, so you're not going to feel squished. It's 
got a drink holder. It's honestly like the perfect beach chair. So um, highly, highly recommend. All right, y'all, I have spent the majority of the morning filming TikToks and it was so much fun. Um, so head over there, I posted, I think like four. Um, so here is my outfit for the beach. I filmed a Yiddy haul, Lizzo's shapewear line and like kind of athletic wear. I didn't realize it was part of Fabletics. Um, but the pieces were really good, but the haul is on Instagram and TikTok, so go check that out. But one of the pieces is this bodysuit, which I am obsessed with. Um, it's a really like snatchy fabric. <laughs> it's really nice. Um, but I figured it would be perfect to wear to the beach because it has like, um, you know, a good tanning shape like a bathing suit. And then I'm just wearing some um, Abercrombie shorts. And then I threw on this white... Um, oversized button up from Pretty Little Thing, which is kind of old. And then my old as well, Gucci sandals. These have lasted me years and I love them. All right, let's go to the beach, H. Let's go get away. I got my kids meal. <laughs> That's the beauty of ordering takeout. My mom ordered it so no one, no one would know. But you know what though? They're giving you such a small portion. Should they really care if a kid's eating it or a grown up is eating it? Oh, and my little kids drink. <laughs> it's actually kind of it's perfect. It's perfect. All right, we had lunch, we're taking a walk. This is so cozy. So cozy. Just soaking it in. First beach day of the summer. It smells like the ocean. I love it. Ooh. Ooh. It's not that bad, but it's a little cold. Oh, <laughs> girl. So my mom took me to pick up the car since we were kind of on the way home to it. Guys, it looks so good. Oh my God. Oh my God, my nose is so red from blowing it. Ugh. <laughs> I got a little red mustache. I'm home from the beach. I just took a shower. Um, there is nothing better than a shower after the beach. I tell you, it was really fun. We just ate lunch. Took a walk and like laid out in the sun and I actually got some color, got a little baby tan. So pretty exciting. My mom's already like full tan. I'm like, ma'am, <laughs> literally like she'll lay out in the sun one day and just like be tan. I'm like, okay, great. Good for you. But I got my Sephora package. I can't take myself seriously with this, <laughs> with my red mustache. <laughs> we got some goodies. Woo. I got a hand screen from Super Goop because I am gonna keep this in the car. And you know what? Everyone tells me, put sunscreen on the back of your hands, moisturize the back of your hands. It's like the same with your neck. Don't forget the neck. Don't forget your hands. Um, I'm gonna keep this in the car and I'm gonna put this on when I drive. Makes a lot of sense. If you think about it, your hands are always in the sun. So the fact that they even make a hand screen is super cool. I'll link all this below. Also, I've had my eye on this forever. Um, well, since it came out, <laughs> not forever. The um, Urban Decay has a new setting mist with vitamin C. I'm a vitamin C girl. I love vitamin C. Um, and cactus flower water. It's supposed to be hydrating, um, brightening. It can be used on even bare skin or makeup. But it just sounds like a good time because my skin's just been... It's been changing so much since my surgery, so much. So um, hydration sounds great and brightening. Um, ooh, I'm so excited. We're gonna have to do like a get ready with me with some of these products, potentially on TikTok, maybe here, I don't know. Um, the Givenchy Prisme Libre Powder, the Matte Finish and Enhanced Radiance Loose Powder. I got the shade number three in Rosé. And I'm so excited to try this. I have seen so many people use this under their eyes and it's just like stunning. And they use the little powder puffs from Amazon. I ordered those too, but very excited to try this under my eyes. All right, next um, from Glow Recipe. People have been absolutely raving about Glow Recipe products and I have never tried them and I have FOMO. So we're gonna use the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream. It's just a moisturizer. And it has amazing reviews. It's very pretty as well. It looks like this. I'm excited to try it. it smells pretty good. Ooh, it's kind of got like a bouncy 
creamy consistency. I just took a shower, so why not? It feels good, it doesn't feel like too thick. It's got more of like a bouncy jelly consistency, but it feels hydrating immediately on contact. Okay, so I also grabbed a um, bath gem from Prima. It's just a bath bomb. It just sounded like a nice time. Then, oh, you guys, <laughs> do you guys remember I bought the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and I meant to buy the foundation, but I bought just like the filter. <laughs> And I like it hardly had any coverage and I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> it's meant to just go like kind of under or over foundation or you can wear it by itself But it's not the foundation that everyone raves about. So I finally got my hands on um, This <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury uh, In shade number three the airbrush flawless foundation Let's see how this color matches and pray. I don't have to return it It's always hard online and a lot of them were sold out, but Ooh, that looks pretty good. Oh, I just will put one out in the sun, but like I'm pretty pale. And I'm not really. Like, of course, I get this the, the cool shade, the light cool shade right after I go and tan. I don't know. I think it looks promising. I always mix it with a darker foundation, but I don't think I don't think it's too light. I'm paler than I seem. Oh, I'm so excited. I want to put this on right now. This is one of my favorite chapsticks. I have not bought this in, I don't even know how long, the Drunk Elephant Lippy Balm. Oh, I love this lip balm. I love this lip balm. Oh my God. It's just so good. I don't know what it is about it. It's just good. I got a couple things from The Ordinary. I'm on my skincare grind, trying to get my skin in order. As I said, it's been wreaking havoc. Um, and seriously, I appreciate all the suggestions, <laughs> but I have tried everything over the years, everything from Accutane to cutting back on dairy, all, just all of it, to going gentle with like CeraVe or Cetaphil <laughs> or going really intense. It's like, you know what? I kind of have also like, oh yeah, I'm working on it, but like, I also feel like just accept it. Like, I'm not going to stress about it. I'm not going to like be afraid to come on camera without makeup on. Like, I'm just... This is my face right now. Yeah, girl's on a journey. So um, I did go ahead and grab though another one of these peeling solutions because I ran out. This is very popular. And I feel like this is gonna help me a lot with the marks because actually these are marks. I don't have any, oh, oh, one pimple right here, but I don't have a lot of active acne right now, but I get marks really bad after I get breakouts. So um, I need help with like, the texture and the tone after pimples. So I grabbed another one of these. You guys have probably seen these all over TikTok um, and they help tremendously. Uh, start slow, <laughs> very thin layer. Don't use a lot, it's gonna tingle. Um, start with once a week, build up to twice and uh, it's gonna burn. <laughs> and then I also did grab a um, rose hip seed oil which I really like. This is great as well for acne marks. I have a vitamin C serum as well, but I already have one. Uh, so I really like rose hip seed oil as well. It's very nice. Oh my gosh. And this was finally back in stock. And this is kind of what like triggered a whole Sephora purchase. Cause you know, over time, like I haven't bought stuff from Sephora in like a couple months, I think. So you kind of just like add stuff to your cart when it tickles your fancy. And then eventually the time comes of like, ha ha, I'm going to place the order. Cause I was like, if this runs out again, the freaking Dior backstage blush in pink, the rosy glow blush. This went viral on TikTok. It's been sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. I'm a blushy, blushy bitch. And it's finally back in stock. Oh, look at her. Oh my God, we gotta do a get ready with me, girl. We got to. Oh my God. right in time for Mother's Day, right in time for Mother's Day. And I did secure a nail appointment tomorrow. Very excited. Um, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. In the last product, I got something else from Glow Recipe as well, um, a serum, because when in doubt, glow it out. I don't know. So I got the Glow Recipe Strawberry Smooth Salicylic Serum, 
and it's clarifying and retexturizing. So uh, really adorable packaging. All their stuff is super cute. But this one has um, a nice BHA and AHA blend, similar to the ordinary. Salicylic acid, which works with acne, helps to exfoliate dead skin cells. It has strawberry water, leaf extract, reduce oil, hydrate, gently resurface. Azalic acid helps with blemish prone skin, brightening the complexion, and then some hydrating, smoothing, and decongesting with the succinic acid. I have not heard of that. Um, apply once or twice daily, one or two pumps, and pat onto skin then you follow with moisturizer. So um, yeah, we've got some new skincare finds, which I'm very excited about because I've been trying actually, I've been kind of going more gentle as of late. Um, I've just been using very, very minimal products. And um, honestly, they're not doing much for me. I will say, um, I guess I should talk about it now since I'm doing this, let me grab it. So I've actually been wanting to talk about this and why not now? Um, because I did want to give it like a couple of weeks just to kind of really test it out first. So since I, if you guys didn't know, I feel like I talk about it a lot because you guys seem to like it. I had gastric bypass in November and with the hormonal changes from the weight loss surgery, which is very common, I have just been like really struggling with my skin. I've always struggled with acne in my teenage and adult years, but I, it got really bad again after the surgery just from hormonal changes, especially on my cheeks, which is very hormonal. In the past, before the surgery, I did Accutane, which helped a lot, but I don't wanna do another round of that because um, we're gonna be trying to get pregnant at the end of this year. And as I said, I've been trying a lot of different things for my skin. Um, and I was like, I think maybe I should try to treat this from the inside. So I did some research on like hormonal vitamins, natural supplements to kind of help me with my hormones. Um, and I started taking these. I will link them. It's DIM, estrogen metabolism support. In my research, it seemed like these were extremely popular. Um, I did a lot of research on these. They're like natural vegetable supplements, um, but they're supposed to help with balancing your hormones. And I read a lot of reviews saying that it really helped people with their hormonal acne. And it's just a once daily pill, you take it with food. Um, I'm not a doctor, <laughs> consult your doctor before you take anything like this. But um, I have been taking it now for a couple weeks and it's actually, I feel it's started to help my acne. Um, especially when I had my last period a few days ago, I didn't feel like my skin went crazy. Um, and just in general, I feel like it's been calming down because a lot of these are actually just marks, not active acne. So. Um, so far, I like these. <laughs> and again, I wanted to give them like a solid couple weeks uh, and make sure that I thought I was seeing results. But again, I feel like it's worth trying anything, um, you know, safely, <laughs> healthily, um, even though not everything works the same for everyone. You know what I mean? Like, but it's worth trying. Like it's, I think it's working for me at least to tone it down. <laughs> so maybe it will work for you. I don't know. Try them if you want. I will link them, but I wanted to update you guys on that since I've had a little time with it. But yeah, sorry, this has been long-winded. I think the rest of the day, it's already five o'clock. I think the rest of the day is gonna be relatively chill. We've been watching Severance on Apple TV. It's actually really good. It didn't look like my style, but it's been really good. And the guy from Parks and Rec is in it, so that makes me happy. <laughs> I don't know his name, but yeah. I'm gonna go drink a bunch of water hydrate up and i'll check in tomorrow because we're gonna go get our nails done oh and i broke this one of course but at least it's the day before getting our nails done good morning <clears throat> i'm sunburnt i'm sunburnt i put on sunscreen clearly not enough oh my god <laughs> uh, i'm doing a target pickup and i'm gonna get they have aloe spray so it's like easier to apply i had to take tylenol last night because like it's so hot and uncomfortable my mom is burnt too. I don't know why the sunscreen didn't work. I don't know. I don't know if it was because like the first time of the season, you know, the first layout post winter. Maybe my body was like, girl, what is you doing? <sighs> Ooh. <sighs> anyway, good morning. I've got some turkey bacon on the stove for yard, but I am feeling a smoothie. Uh, so let's make a smoothie. <laughs> So this will be a new recipe so we can see how it is. Let me flip the turkey bacon for him. Okay, so I'm gonna do a half a banana I have left over. And then I have 
some frozen fruit. And I'm just gonna do the strawberries from here. I'm going for like, oh my God, his toast. Oh, that's a nice piece of toast. His toast just scared me. See, I'm going for like a strawberry vibe. And then I'm gonna do a tablespoon of chia seeds, which I just spilled, awesome. And then I'm gonna do um, a core power strawberry. I love core power. Core power and fair life nutrition plan. These taste like just milk, tastes like strawberry milk. And I don't know about you, but as a kid, I loved strawberry milk. I'm not gonna do the whole thing. I think I did like two thirds and then I'm gonna grab some ice. Okay, let's see how it comes out. I've never made this recipe before, but I feel like, I feel like how could it be bad, you know? I literally always forget how much smoothies expand. Like I need to make less, <laughs> I need to make less. I'll save what I don't drink. Oh my God, that is so much. <gasps> that is so much, Oh, <sighs> That's that's my bad. I don't know why, I just don't learn. Chia's. Oh, it slaps, it's delicious. Hey you guys, I forgot my camera so I'm vlogging on my phone, um, but I am gonna finally go get my nails done. I thought that would be like the perfect way to end this vlog. Here's the before. Crusty, busty, dusty, they're very grown out. I did end up filming a whole face first impressions with all those new Sephora products on my TikTok, so go watch that. I also filmed like a beach wave crimp easy hair tutorial on there and my Instagram. So lots of content on TikTok today. I'm having so much fun on TikTok. I know I say it all the time, but don't forget to follow me there, Alexandra Irene Rodriguez. I have the longest username in the world, so sorry. But um, I have a design inspo for my nails. It's like a lot of French, but then like two of the nails have little flowers. So I think it's gonna go really well with my white dress for Mother's Day, the one from Abercrombie. Um, some people were like, it doesn't give you any shape. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> I think the dress is super cute. I agree because I'm not a super curvy person, but like I just don't care if it gives me shape. I really like the dress. I think it's super cute. Um, so I thought it would look cute with the white nails and the design. So, all right, I'll show you guys after. Wish me luck. Okay, I'm back home and I'm so excited. We're going on a date night. The nails were a success. I wanted to show you guys a quick little outfit of the night. I threw my hair up in a black clip, just a kind of loose black t-shirt counteract the sunburn um skinny little gucci belts and then these white jeans from old navy and then the target sandals but here are the nails they're so cute exactly what i wanted all right so this is the end of the vlog i love you guys and i'll see you again very soon bye